In this video, we are going to look at demagnetization by hitting and demagnetization by heating. One of which we've got a demo for, one of which we've got a video of a demo for. So, demagnetization. by hitting and heating. Now, just as a reminder, when a, a, magnet, uh, when a magnetic material is magnetized, you are having a material where the domains are lined up. So this is, whoops, magnetized. So this is the equivalent of a bar magnet. So that's a north pole, that's a south pole, there's your bar magnet. But the process of demagnetization will cause the domains to point in random directions like that, so all over the place, and that is demagnetized. And that would be a piece of iron like this, in fact, this is steel, that is not magnetic but is, so it's not magnetized, but is a magnetic material. So what I'm going to do is just pop that up in the corner here. Uh, not much I can do about that reflection. So you can see that, but can also see our demos. Now, I'm not actually going to hit the bar magnet. Not good practice, we'll hit something else. So hitting it, if I take something like a hammer and I hit it, um, that will cause it to demagnetize. Um, what I am happy to hit though, is if I take this piece of steel and I use the stroking method, if I do this, you'll see it a bit better, to cause some magnetization. And I put it there, I can demagnetize it by hitting it with the hammer. That's the fun one. Care for your fingers, don't try it without parental supervision, adult supervision. Now, um, that will cause it to demagnetize, um, which takes it from being in a magnetized state to demagnetize. Uh, you can hit it quite hard. Now the other one, whoops, that you will see is here in a video I took earlier. And what this shows, oh, I'm just gonna take the sound down. And what this shows is a Bunsen burner. In fact, if I introduce things first, what you've got, um, this is all just a holder, this bit here is a very strong magnet, and this is a steel nail. Now that nail is being held to the, well it's being magnetised by the strong magnet via induction that we saw in another video, and as an example of induction, here is a magnetic paper clip, paper clip. here is a magnet, um, that is holding on in the same way that is by induction. If I remove that, it wouldn't be magnetic anymore. So you magnetize by induction, and what you've got is a steel uh, nut here um, that's been attracted to this um, due to um, the magnetic force acting on it. But the Bunsen burner here is heating up this area here. You can see this is starting to get red hot. And what happens is, as it heats up, it hits a point where the temperature is high enough that the domains can no longer 
stay pointing the same direction but as you see there when you turn the Bunsen burner off again and it starts to cool down they can line up so oh, I'll go a little bit earlier in the video there you go so magnetized heating it up hits a point where the temperature is high enough that it demagnetizes turn the Bunsen burner off and it will attract back okay so that is a demagnetization by hitting and heating but the key idea here here is that a magnetized state is the domains lined up demagnetizes in random directions and by these two processes we sort of scramble the domains and make them point in random directions